Hello everyone and welcome to today's session on WebAssembly. Do you know friends that after Netscape introduced JavaScript in 1995, it was the only web programming language known for that time. Many of the alternatives were proposed, but they were rejected and quite unsuccessful. But on contrary to others, WebAssembly has been successful while others have failed. If you want to know more about WebAssembly, watch this video till the end. But first, we are going to discuss our today's agenda. Before that, make sure you're going to hit the subscribe button and click the bell icon. So first, we are going to discuss about what is WebAssembly. Moving ahead, we are going to learn about advantages of WebAssembly. Then, we are going to discuss about application scenarios. Moving ahead, we are going to learn about which one to choose. And at the end, we are going to conclude our session with Will WebAssembly replace JavaScript or not? So, let's start with what is WebAssembly. WebAssembly is a new web-based computer programming language. WebAssembly code is a low-level binary format that is web-compatible and can run in modern web browsers. The generated file is kind of small in size and it loads and executes quickly. Languages such as C, C++, Rust and others can now be compiled to a binary format and run on the web in the same way that a JavaScript does. So basically, WebAssembly, which is also known as WASM, is a binary instruction format for a stack-based virtual machine. WASM is intended to be a portable target for compilation of high-level languages such as C, C++ or Rust, allowing client and server applications to be deployed on the web. Although WebAssembly is not something that a developer must write the code is written in languages such as basically C or C++ or Rust. WebAssembly is basically a new language. The code is low-level assembly language, but thanks to its text format feature that the code is readable and debugging is also possible. Now we will check on what is the aim of WebAssembly. WebAssembly is basically an open standards and are developed in W3C community group, which includes representatives from all major browsers. The primary goal of WebAssembly are that WebAssembly code is intended to run faster on different platforms by taking advantage of the hardware available. WebAssembly as a low-level assembly language has text format support which allows you to debug the code and rewrite it if necessary. WebAssembly is safe to use in the web browser because it handles permissions and same origin policies. WASM also allows you to write your code in a preferred language and run it from anywhere. Now, we are going to discuss the advantages of a web assembly. Basically, WASM allows you to have a quicker startup times. WASM can achieve cold start times on the server that are 10 to 100 times faster than the Docker containers because it does not need to create an operating system process for each container. Decoding WASM in the browser is faster than parsing, interpreting and optimizing JavaScript so WASM code executes faster than the JavaScript code. Next is near-native efficiency. Near-native performance, there is some debate about the performance detail of WebAssembly language, but it has the advantage of allowing users to encapsulate the computationally intensive parts of their applications into a low-level language. Many of WASM's performance benefits come from the fact that its code is built to be as close as to native machine code as possible. Next, it is lightweight. Because WASM binaries are small, they consume little bandwidth and take less time to transfer over the network than cross-compiled JavaScript in the browser. Next, if we talk about it is convenience and adaptability. WASM code can be run by any WASM runtime, although not all runtime supports are WASM extensions. Different WSI interface types are also there. Most browsers support WebAssembly and many server-side runtimes such as WASM Edge, WASM Time and so on to execute the WASM code. WASM is portable and very general due to its extensive browser and server support with approximately 30 languages that can be compiled or executed in it such as C, C++, Rust, Python, Go, AssemblyScript, JavaScript and so on. Next is security. 
The WebAssembly security model actually has two goals. To safeguard users against bugs and malicious modules, give developers the original language they need to create secure applications. Wasm scope is thus limited and code running in the Wasm runtime is memory sandboxed and functionally restricted. The aforementioned features make it appealing for both client and server applications. On the client side, there is a world in which the browser becomes the default operating system on which all applications run. Thanks in part to Wasm. Wasm is likely to become the next default container system on the server. WebAssembly language will do for Docker what Docker does for virtual machines. As Furmon Match Butcher said it. Now let's discuss some of the application scenarios of WebAssembly language. So what application scenarios will WebAssembly language provide in terms of fast and secure client and server applications? The first one if we talk about it says accelerated web applications. According to Figma use case, Wasms allows you to write the performance computation intensive part of your application in JavaScript and then replace it with higher performance language such as like Rust, C or C++. However, this is not always the case. Next is WebAssembly hopes to realize that the Sun Microsystem dream of Java related term that can be written once and run everywhere. In practice, this is not an easy task, but Wasm make it much easier to bring applications to the previously native web and other platforms, such as Photoshop and Autodex web are two excellent examples. Next, we talk about is plugin. WebAssembly language plugin is ideal for running untrusted code in an isolated sandbox. When most platforms scale, a plugin system that allows end users to build custom software that interacts with their platform is built. Because Wasm is sandboxed, platforms can let their user build plugins in any language without worrying about the security risks of allowing them to execute the untrusted code. All of Wasm's other advantages apply here as well. Speed, small binaries and quick loading. A WebAssembly language assists in achieving the goals of every plugin system, which are high performance, security and ease of use. Next we talk about is brand new container system. WebAssembly language as previously stated has a constrained security model. Is cross OS has a fast cold start time, excellent performance, does not require the creation of new operating system process for each container and thus occupies very little space. All of these are appealing characteristics of a new container system that could replace Docker. WASI as Solomon Hikes tweeted is the missing link that propels this new container system forward. Now we are going to discuss about another application scenario called Package Administrator. A package registry and manager will be available in WebAssembly. WAPM was the first to try this and once the WASI component models are widely adopted, there will be many compelling reasons to use the Wasm package manager. Next is games. WebAssembly can be useful in the browser for reasons related to its utility for performance intensive web applications to make them run efficiently on the web. Examples include lightweight games that must start quickly, asset intensive games and peer to peer games according to the WebAssembly documentation. It can also be used on the server to create game distribution services that makes game portable and secure according to the WebAssembly documentation. Next is Blockchain. Wasm has received a lot of attention as EVM alternative and the parity Ethereum client runs Wasm bytecode in Wasmi allowing Wasm code to access and interact with the blockchain. Another good example is eWasm which is being developed as an alternative to EVM. It is intended to allow developers to interact with the Ethereum blockchain using WebAssembly thus supporting more languages. Next is serverless computing. WebAssembly is ideal for serverless function and Wasm's sandboxing performance. Quick startup time and language support make it ideal for the technology for running serverless functions. Now we are going to discuss about WebAssembly versus JavaScript. So we have the following parameters. 
API access and portability access. So if we talk about them, API access, JavaScript has an extensive API access to the platform. WASM lacks direct API access. All DOM manipulation must be done through JavaScript. So this is one difference which we can think of. Next, if we talk about portability as a parameter to compare WebAssembly and JavaScript, then JavaScript can be used by developers for variety of purposes and on the variety of platform. WASM was designed to be portable. It can be used by developers both inside and outside of the browser. Next parameter if we talk about is loading period. For simple tasks, JavaScript can be extremely fast. WASM is ideal for high performance computing application. It also has smaller files which means faster loading times. Next parameter is execution time. Because JavaScript is an interpreted language, it may take some time for the browser to fully comprehend what is about to execute. But WASM is strongly typed and code is already optimized before it reaches the browser, resulting in much faster execution. Next parameter is garbage collection. For memory management, JavaScript has a comprehensive garbage collection process. WASM garbage collection is basically handled by JavaScript. Next parameter is memory usage. Again, JavaScript garbage collection handle memory usage automatically. WASM's memory usage is quite complex. Developers are given linear memory allocation that they must manage manually. Next is debugging. If we talk about debugging, it occurs during the runtime in an interpreted language, which may appear faster but may allow errors and other vulnerabilities to slip through the cracks. Debugging occurs before compilation in a compiled language, which means that if errors are found, the code is not compiled. Next is multi-threading. JavaScript as a single threaded language relies on the web workers for multiple execution. WASM currently lacks multi-threading support. Other low-level languages with multi-threading support on the other hand can be used. Now we are going to discuss which one to choose, JavaScript or WASM. If we talk about WASM, WASM was basically created to supplement the capabilities of JavaScript. As a result, your objective should influence whether you study one or the other. If you are a beginner looking to create a beautiful user interface with minimum effort, learning JavaScript would be then a better option for you. But learning WASM may be the best option for you if you want to run a secure and computationally intensive apps without worrying about performance concerns as you scale. Extensive documentation and the availability of the productivity, enhancing the tools should also influence your decision. Finally, just choose a language that you believe will help you to achieve your goals rather than learning something just because it is cool or new. Now we are going to discuss about will WebAssembly replace JavaScript. It's a very interesting question to ask. Now let me answer this question. Depending on whom you ask, WebAssembly will kill JavaScript, enhance JavaScript or only appeal to a small subset of die-hard developers who are working on the problems that require lower level bare metal solutions written in a compiled language. Much effort has been put into reducing the performance issues that have plagued the WebAssembly when making the JS call, especially when you are working with the DOM. Efforts appear to be focused on making WebAssembly more than a memory CLOS thing, but rather a viable option for anyone who wants to work primarily within the confines of WebAssembly. The issue with accessing the DOM in the WebAssembly applications that require it that you must still go through JavaScript. To the best of my knowledge, there are no plans to enable direct DOM access via WebAssembly. But who knows? WebAssembly has been designed to complement and alongside work with JavaScript rather than replace it since its inception as a specification. There are no critical aspects of WebAssembly that are incompatible with the JavaScript. They are able to communicate with one another. While JavaScript is great for creating user interfaces such as web applications and website, it can lead to performance issues when creating GPU or CPU intensive applications, 
that exceed the capabilities of modern browsers. Lower level graphics is an exciting application area allowing things like virtual reality in the browsers to achieve the required low latency and high performance for a smooth experience. As you can see, many of the possible WebAssembly use cases will still require some UI component which is there such as CSS, HTML and JavaScript will come in handy to create rich interfaces. WebAssembly on the other hand will allow developers to move intensive UI blocking work outside the browser. It will result in better performing web applications that run more smoothly on the both newer and older hardware. So to answer the question, if it wasn't already obvious, WebAssembly will not replace JavaScript. WebAssembly on the other hand, if does anything, will definitely improve JavaScript. That was all for today's session. I hope so. You would have definitely enjoyed today's session on the WebAssembly. Just a quick info guys. IntelliPad provides full stack web development course in collaboration with ENICT IIT Guwahati. The course link of which is given in the description below.